Okay, in this video, we're going to look specifically at the X570 chipset, but instead of answering it generically, we're going to talk specifically about one motherboard, because I think it'll make more sense. Now, this is the ASUS Republica Gamers Crosshair 8 formula. And the two questions we've been asked, one, about putting a quad card on that motherboard, or two, about putting a dual M.2 NVMe adapter on that board. So what I want to do is take a look at the resources as it's listed on the website for tech specs. Then we're going to take a look at the manual and look at the slots. Because what you, what you see, what you read, and what we need to extrapolate are, are kind of, I think they could make some clarifications, is my point, on the tech specs. Let's take a look. So what we need to determine on the X570 on this particular motherboard is the resource allocation. And if we look at the slots, personally I think that's a little confusing. What we can glean from this is if you look, it says there's two PCI Express 4.0 by 16 slots. Okay, they are PCI Express 4.0 by 16 mechanically, but electrically you have one 16 lane slot. So that means when they're both used, they're both by eight, which means there's a total of 16 lanes, eight lane for one slot, eight lane for the other slot. So if you're going to put a video card in one, then the other card has only got eight lanes. A quad card requires 16 lanes, bifurcated. If we've only got eight lanes, we can't put a quad card on there. But let's look a little further at the slots. We'll look under support, manuals. And this is a little bit clearer and easier to read in the manual. Okay, we have two PCI Express 4.0 by 16 slots. And again, to reiterate, supports by 16, that's one, or dual by eight. Because there's only 16 lanes we have available. The third slot we have is under the chipset. So the first two are to the processor, the third one is to the chipset, and the one to the chipset, even though it's by 16 mechanically, it's only by four electrically. So the question always comes up about putting a quad card on one of these boards. Every one of these X570s I have to look at separately. Uh, we did find one ASUS board that had one 16 lane slot dedicated. This one does not. But I wanted to use this one specifically because we've had several asks specifically about this motherboard. And instead of being generic about it, I wanted to do this specifically. Let's take a look at the expansion slots. PCI Express with 16 underscore 1, PCI Express with 16 underscore 2, and PCI Express with 16 underscore 3. Okay, if you notice in here we also can house two M.2 drives. If we look at the slot layout, we have one by one slot. So that by 16 slot becomes about 8 when we use the underscore 2. And underscore 3 is by 4. Okay, if you have to Think about this and prioritize. What's your number one requirement? Is it going to be a quad card or is it going to be a whatever whiz bang video card? If it's the video card, deal's over. Then in that case, we use a dual adapter. But if your primary concern is a quad adapter, you want to put four drives on, you've got to have a 16 lane slot. That means slot number two cannot be used. That means slot number three that's only four lanes, that's where the video card has to go. Now, from, from a... Uh, Another perspective, people that are putting in an external GPU container on Thunderbolt 3, that's in effect what you'd be doing here. Because you're only going to have four PCI Express lanes for that video card that would normally take up 16 lanes. But if you want a quad adapter, if that's your primary concern, and your video is secondary, that's the way to do it. Slot number two is uh, like it doesn't exist. And we're going to have that same issue on another motherboard that's a workstation motherboard we're going to look at when we get through with this. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Uh, but now let's look again at resources and, okay, what about if I put a dual adapter on there? Because, remember, we have two M.2 drives on the motherboard, and from near as I can tell, those two on the motherboard are to the CPU, not through the chipset. So that means they're going to have the fastest speed. So if they're PCI Express 4, they can be PCI Express 4 second generation. Which means if we put a dual adapter on here, we can put that dual adapter in the PCI Express with 16 underscore 2. It will take two drives. If we have two drives already on the motherboard that are to the CPU, the second fastest will be through these slots that are to the CPU. And that third slot just doesn't get used. And that's the one through the chipset. So that way, therefore, the other question that comes up, does this motherboard support RAID 0? Absolutely. All the new systems that we're looking at and specifically with AMD, they all support RAID 0. The problem is, is how many drives. Now, we're going to need to do another video about VROC, and we're going to do another video also about RAID types and RAID levels. But as it relates to this motherboard, RAID 0, absolutely, you're in business. And you can do four drives where you have two on a card, two on the motherboard, you've got four drives.
But remember, when you RAID 4 drives in RAID 0, what you have is the equivalent of the speed of 3. It is what it is based on the numbers we've seen. So your results may vary, but that's what we've seen with the Gigabyte TRX40 designator. That's what we saw uh, with the uh, X399 on the, the Gigabyte. So, and I would expect the same kind of performance based on numbers we've looked at and what other vendors have talked about as we go forward with the uh, WRX80. And that new card that uh, Gigabyte's coming out that'll do eight drives that has a PLX chip on it, well, based on the numbers they're showing, I'm expecting the same kind of results, which means the best value is a four drive card, a quad. But if you can't do a quad, like for this, a dual adapter makes sense. So you have two on the motherboard, two on the card. Simple. Now, another way to look at slot and lane assignments, and I think this is some good information. This is about PCI Express operating mode, and we're looking at the third generation. So an X570, you're looking at uh, 16 cores. Good round number. And if you're working with the Adobe After Effects multi-frame rendering CPU optimization formula, then you've got your uh, CPU cores times 4 equals RAM, number 1. And number 2, you've got CPU core count equals VRAM. So uh, based on resources and based on that formula, this is, this is a pretty good thing. So with uh, slot number 1, you'll have an 8-lane slot and an 8-lane slot on number 2. And then number 3 is a 4-lane slot. And the 4-lane slot on number 3 is through the chipset. That's the slowest. And it also outlines here with the DM.2 underscore 1 and M.2 underscore 2. Both of those are PCI Express 4. So based on what we know, since we don't have a diagram layout of the motherboard, based on what they're saying, those are through the CPU. That's a good thing. So two questions asked, two questions answered. Now, I hope that helps. This is Builder By. My name is Gil Boyd. I want to thank you for watching. And coming up in this next video, we had a question about the WRX80, specifically on the ASUS, about the difference in the M.2 versus the U2. So I'm glad it's a specific question so we can give us a specific answer instead of being generic. On to the next video.